kh-tv.com. What are you looking at? I'm Chris Wise, and we're at the Brewmasters Craft Beer Festival here at Moody Gardens. So let's get ready. Take it on! I'm Chris Wise, and this is Texas. Home to an ever-growing number of world-class breweries, wineries, and distilleries. I travel the state, meeting people, touring facilities, enjoying events, and sampling plenty of product. Usually a crawl will last the street, but everything's bigger in Texas. We crawl the state. Someday, maybe the world. So let's gas up the Chevy, pack a bag, and get ready to crawl. Today I bring the crawl to Moody Gardens for the Texas Brewery Tasting Tour. Shaking hands with eight brewers and trying some of their brand new products. Most of which were delicious. It's a crawl and a haul. Each brewery has their own suite, and we're gonna start right here. Cornell's a brand new and very small operation right now. I can't wait to see him take off. He was so cool and shared a brand new pecan pie beer. It was a standalone, unique experience. Our old friends. No label. Yeah, that's the wee heavy. Yeah. Let's do the wee heavy. Wee heavy. Called oh, perpetual peace. Perpetual peace. I just I know. Nine and a half percent alcohol. Um, it's been sitting in Maker's Mark for a barrel for the last two months. Which one is nice? That's what you guys like. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's clean. It's uh, good. It's a good beer. This is straight up Bavarian Vice. So. You're gonna get a big kind of clove aroma to it. Is this one out right now? No, this is the first time it's ever been poured. Okay. Here today. Yeah, because I've had most of what you got. So on the aroma, it's sort of a, like a clove, nutmeg aroma. Yeah. This is Carbon, and they're great. I'm Ronnie Crocker. I write about beer for the Houston Chronicle, and I also have a book out called Houston Beer, uh, Heady History of Brewing in the Bayou City. The book talks a lot about the craft beers who've created a lot of excitement about beer in our community, including these guys from Carbach Brewing here in Houston. That was my good friend Ronnie. <laughs> Buy his book. <laughs> I got turned on you guys at Bohemia. They, they carry y'all. Southern Star. These guys are out of Conroe. They're great. I'm calling like I don't know what the official tasting line was, but Vince poured it to the brim. God is good, and so is Vince. <laughs> Make sure everybody leaves here happy. Oh, man. You guys are dominating. Thank you very dominating. much. Dominating. Thank you. Whoa. These guys are new to me. I don't even know how to say that, <laughs> but I'm going to go drink it. <laughs> Session Pilsner. It's our lawnmower beer. Uh, it's the beer you take out on the boat and yeah. you can drink it all day long. Uh, this is our Taste It First selection. It's the Oktoberfest. Hasn't actually hit the market yet, so y'all are the oh, very, very up. first people to get sign to taste this up. beer. Polito, it's little, the little logo. Yeah, exactly. The little logo. You're right, though. I can drink that all day, man. We got it. Uh, we've got our session pilsner on as well. That's our long yeah. That's the, uh, yeah. Fredericksburg. I'm sober. Look at his glass. My glass is clean. Look, my glass. 
Oh, my glass is clean. Oh, you stole Larry's glass. That's why your glass is clean. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you do. Now it's good. <laughs> Champagne ale, man. Real Ale Brewing Company in Blanco, Texas. These guys are all over Houston. I love their stuff. Come on in. This is a traditional uh, Hellas Lager. It's a Maybach. So it's going to be pale in color, some floral notes, a little perfume in the nose, a little spice. Um, hoppier than your traditional Bach would be. It's about 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, really nice. Very refreshing. It's usually done in the springtime, oh, early yes. summer. So yes, ours is re released a little bit late here in the summer, moving into the fall, but uh, really Bring nice. It. Yeah, it's good right. stuff. Bring it. Yeah. The main street that runs down through the center of the town is Duval. And here it is. I go down Duval, I'm so drunk that I have to crawl. You know, when you're on the sidewalk, everybody looks so tall. This, this is, is the crawl, crawl and, and we'll, we'll be right, right back. back. KH-TV.com, what are you looking at? Just like with wine, beer can be paired with a bunch of foods. Some of the hottest chefs in Texas turned out to the Brewlicious and put their best food forward. Take a look at some of what they brought. Now, it's time to crawl. We hit one of the hottest, most happening places in Galveston. And I met some of the wildest, coolest people. And they made it so much fun. Guess who was there? Vince. Hey, this is Vince, one of the brewers at St. Arnold. And I wanted to ask him, Vince, how did you get on at St. Arnold? In 1994, St. Arnold opened up in Houston. So after I'd finished homebrewing, we would go to do the tour on Saturdays. And I came to know the owner. And every weekend, I would ask him. I'd buy a glass from him and ask him for a job. So that, right. that lasted from 94 until about 2002. And he finally took me seriously and gave me a job. St. Arnold is a staple, you know what I mean? They're like, when you go anywhere, if they have Texas beer on tap, St. Arnold's is one of them. That's awesome, that's good to hear. I'm glad to see that people enjoy it. What's your favorite brew at St. Arnold? It's usually the seasonal, so we'll go from Summer Pills, now we're moving into our Oktoberfest, so it's, it's, it's just a nice treat because you don't get it all year round. Right, so. but when you do get one, do you have, do you have a favorite? Um, I'd say right now we have a Bishop's Barrel number two that we uh, we uh, infected with uh, with a wild yeast and put in uh, wine barrels. That's probably the one that. That's the one. Yeah, and you can only get it at the brewery. Wow. Only at the brewery. That's Vince, man. St. Arnold's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the crawl is going there. I'm gonna take you there. Lawnmower is my favorite, by the way. Sharing a night of good drink and good times. This is what it's all about.
Because you know the crawls is not about the beer, it's about the people. And we want to say one thing to one of our friends on this bus. Say it! Happy, Happy birthday! These are all my new friends. Check them out. Come on! A Galveston man all the way to the bone right here. Mr. Alvin, our bus driver, thank you so much, sir. Right, I really enjoyed y'all, man. All right. And next time on The Crawl. Come on, brother, roll another river, buddy. Smoke that motherfucker, everybody get high, 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 high. Once again. Grab a cake and grab a cup. And everybody get up. And everybody's getting drunk. Everybody is spinning around. Once again, little children, you should thank the Lord above. You have never been in my shoes, never been in love. You have never seen this guy in front of you fall down. But I'm going to do it once again. Come on, baby, shake it for me. Shake your money, man. Once again